Hello and welcome to IT Convergence User Productivity Kit Tutorial Series. This is a short demonstration of how to customize the play interface by modifying the default small logo to fit your corporate look and feel. The player interface can be customized in many ways, including changing the logo, changing the search preference and help icons. Additionally, you can change style sheet elements such as dividers, background or text colors. The player can be customized from two different locations. It can be modified from either the published output or the player publishing project in the developer library. This tutorial will demonstrate how to customize the graphic interface by changing the player's default Oracle logo through the published output folder. Changing the published output folder only affects this particular content. However, changing the settings in the system folder in the developer library will affect all future publishing topics. This tutorial will actually be shown in the UPK Triad mode to get the real UPK feeling. So feel free to read the bubble text instructions for additional information. Displayed is the player starting window where the users have five different learning options to choose from. We'll be using the Triad mode in this tutorial and it will be a safe environment where we can test the process without being afraid of doing any mistakes. After opening the Triad mode and clicking to the second frame, up in the left corner we can see how the logo looks like before the customization. As you also can see, I decided to change the player interface with the overall corporate concept the IT Convergence has. In some instances, it might be valuable to know how to customize the player because it can add that extra element which clients truly appreciate. Moving on, the very first step is to publish an appropriate topic from the developer and navigate to the player publishing content folder. This folder may be located at different locations on your hard drive, however, I have conveniently published my topic to a tutorial folder on my desktop. In the publishing content folder, depending upon how many outputs you decide to publish. This is where they all end up in its own individual folder. I only publish the player content and that's why this folder only is displayed. Open player package folder and try to find the IMG folder where all the default images used for the player interface are stored. As you can see, there are various images in the IMG folder and all of them can be changed if desired. However, in this tutorial I will only change the small logo image, therefore try to locate this file. When the logo has been found, and if the picture dimensions are not known to you, one way to find that out is to open the properties pane. This window will tell you exactly what dimensions to use for the new picture. After right clicking the file and open the properties pane, the exact dimensions for the picture can be found in the details tab. Write down these dimensions, or just remember them. However, it's important that you use 162 by 44, or something close to that range, because otherwise that picture might be too large or small to fit into the player's interface. After the dimensions have been established, close the windows and navigate back to the desktop where I have saved the ITC corporate logo that I want to insert into the player. Remember, if the desired image doesn't have the same dimensions, it needs to be converted to 162 by 44 or to something close. Converting an image is not complicated at all, and I will try to show how to do it in Microsoft Office Picture Manager. After opening the image with the Picture Manager program, resize the picture by clicking the Picture menu and choose Resize. A resize pane window will now open to the right of the image. Click the custom width and height checkbox and enter the right dimensions. The picture's width is not recommended to be greater than 240. When the new dimensions have been applied, the picture also has to be exported into a GIF format. Therefore, on the file menu, click export and a new export pane window will be displayed to the right. The new file will now be exported to the desktop in which the next step is to rename the image to the exact same name as the default logo in the IMG folder. This needs to be done 
because this picture will be copied and pasted into the folder where it will replace the old small logo image. So when the image has been renamed, navigate back to the IMG folder located in the Publish Player Package folder. Once you are in the IMG folder, copy and paste or drag and drop the customized logo to the IMG folder. This will make a copy file window to appear. And from the selections, choose the copy and replace option. The logo has now been replaced in the player, so navigate back to the player to verify and review the changes. As you can see, the new customized logo has been replaced up in the left corner. A key takeaway from this tutorial should be that with these simple steps used for changing a small logo can be applied to all the other images used in the player interface. This concludes our tutorial on how to customize the player interface by changing the small logo in Oracle UPK Developer. On the behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and invite you to join IT Convergence YouTube channel where you can learn more about user productivity kit features and functions.